We're in Union Square right now. <laughs> on our way to Chelsea Park because I'm putting Kimmy through an old fashioned, a good old fashioned New York City Park workout. Um, somehow we stumbled onto some sort of farmer's market. Don't know what, where we're doing, what we're doing right now, but Kimmy's wandering. Um, I just want to show some more spots in the city today. No real solid plans. Just uh, expose us to the ambiance that is New York City. So yeah, we're about to go grab some city bikes and we're gonna ride uptown to 27th Street to Chelsea Park and we're gonna get it in, right there in the park. I bought some construction gloves and everything. It's about to be lit. I'm trying to get some free samples. So look, I wanna show y'all how this, how the city app, the city bike app works, right? I think it's pretty cool. So look, you find your location, right? We're here, boom. You press unlock, unlock bike and it gives you a code. You type the code in right here. Boom. And now you got a bike. I told Cami I would I would be more uh, patient with her today. I wouldn't leave her. So I'm not gonna ride as aggressively today. At Chelsea Park, about to get a calisthenic workout in. I miss this. Uh, platform i'll choose an exercise she'll choose an exercise we'll go back and forth we normally do three rounds um so we're gonna freestyle we're gonna use whatever they have here and we're gonna get it in you ready I'm a young OG, cause I seen a lot I'm hardly ever getting sleep, but I dream a lot God feed them fucking babies, so I keep them hot I'm talking about them pots, whip it like I'm trying to change his name to Toby Try to dap me up, but they don't know me though. Yeah, we went to school together, but we ain't homies though. I'm told by them OGs, I always keep it low key. Money for them school clothes, I had to get that OT. Pitching out in Youngstown, them Ohio boys, they hated me. But thought we was in an A, the way they try to give the K to me. You try to catch me slipping, that 380 baby, stay with me. Keep it like a Caesar, my is never fading me. Some niggas ride, some niggas bang, some niggas work. Some Pretty crucial. It really woke me up to some of my sh my weaknesses. I definitely got to do calisthenics more often because I burnt out pretty early doing those pull-ups. Um, but it's another opportunity, another opportunity, another area to work on and improve. And I'm all about that. So now we're about to walk to I forgot what it's called. That thing in the sky. It's like an above ground, above the street level situation and it's nice <laughs> we're gonna go there and sit down and eat we're going up there so we're about to eat lunch chicken this one has more in it I'll chicken Boom. and so we, we just passed chicken cabbage and red potatoes let me tell you it takes a lot of discipline because we probably walked past seven great restaurants within the last five blocks and it was smelling amazing. But still, I'm gonna eat my cold ass chicken and cabbage because my goals are important to me. My goals are important to me, so gotta do what you gotta do. So as you guys can see, I've been traveling a lot lately and while on the cut, it's extremely, extremely challenging to stay focused nutritionally. So. In the past, this was a nightmare for me. I would use this to be to have an excuse to not stay focused. What are your excuses? Or what are the things that you believe are holding you back? And I'm gonna try my best to help you work your way around it. Cause I've pretty much been in all situations, working crazy hours, kids, school, no money, whatever. I've pretty much experienced a lot of the uh, roadblocks that that typically hold people back from losing weight so comment below what your particular situation may be and i'll try my best to give 
the best advice that I can to help you out. So we drove downtown to visit the Freedom Tower. The Freedom Tower is the building that they built to replace the, uh, the uh, Twin Towers, is it the World Trade the Centers. Trade so it's now the World Trade, World Trade Center. Now the area where the World Tra Trade Center was, there's like a memorial where is that? ground. We're gonna go over there now. So we're now, I don't, I have no clue how tall, tall it is. We're now at the new Free, Freedom Tower, One World Trade. So this is the new World Trade Center, basically. Yeah, I know, because I really don't know. I'm from Brooklyn. I don't really know nothing about what goes on in Manhattan. So this is the actual location where the old towers actually stood. And they built like a memorial fountain uh, to recognize the people who lost their lives at 9-11. Look, it's pretty dope. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. We had a great day. I'm tired as hell. We're about to grab these city bikes, drive back to the west side and, and jump, I mean, back to the east side and jump on the four train. But um, I just wanted to say for all the people who are leaving their weight loss stats in the comments, I'm so proud of you guys. Look, man, I'm getting goosebumps. Keep it up. It's easy to start strong, but let's think about the finish line. And really there's no finish line. So let's pace ourselves. I can't stress that enough. Yes, the initial weight loss is gonna happen quick. You're gonna be excited, but just make sure you're planning for the times when that, that weight loss seems to stop and your motivation seems to go away. That's when you have to dig deep. That's when we're gonna really see what you're about. So just keep that in mind as you move forward. I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys as always. Shout out to the Brick Squad, we here. So get well, get money.